Hi, welcome to my channel and welcome to the last episode of my huge review of all finished pictures. And in this last video I collected everything about fantasy, about fairy tales, myths and legends. And these subjects are my favorite in coloring books. Let's start from the Mysterious Library by Energy Park. Several pictures here I colored even before I got Prisma colors. Here I am even happy with the soft pastel background, which is not my favorite method usually. I used here a mix of Faber Castell Eco children pencils, some color softs, and I still think that color softs work really nice on this paper. It was quite interesting to invent some stories for the pictures. On the first spread I did the right side of the library colorful and the left was almost completely in brown colors. And here I also tried to show this magical portal between a library and mysterious vault. I love all pictures here. Even if usually I am not a huge fan of ornaments or something like this, here I love absolutely everything. I stopped to color in this book after I did this watercolor background and I wasn't completely happy. I didn't like color gradients and I somehow put it out for some time and stopped to color it. I think that now, when I have my new colors, I will be able to improve that background, so I definitely plan to return to coloring this book, because it's amazing. Here I used watercolor as an underpaint for all the trees and for water, and for the main characters I used Prisma colors. I am especially proud of my white swan. It was quite difficult to decide to learn how to color white feathers and I think that I managed not bad. Paper in this book is of medium quality, so you can do watercolor underpaint, but you simply need to be careful with amount of water. And of course you can use acrylic paints or gouache paints for the backgrounds, just like I did here. Background on the left is a little bit of black acrylic and watercolors, and on the left I also used water. On the right I also used watercolors and some Prisma colors for the main characters. I also added some metallic paints in order to make everything sparkly and fairy tale looking. My most favorite pictures are uncolored yet in this book. I really want to color the second spread about Alice, also Princess on a Pea and a wonderful picture with various castles. On this spread I used mostly color softs and prisma colors also, and here I discovered how well color softs layer on this paper. You know that I love all pictures, everything connected to Alice, so I really enjoyed coloring this one. It was interesting to color all golden and steel elements on the armory, so I learned something from that spread. Here I also did watercolor background for all the leaves, I tried to invent different color combos. And the girl I colored with Prisma colors and a little bit of color softs. It's a shame that I have neglected this book during this year, but now when I remembered about it and when I have decision how to improve that not very perfect pink background, I will definitely return to it, because as I said, all my most favorite most inspiring spreads are still uncolored here. The next fairy tales related books are by Tamoko Tashira. 
I won't be showing you fairy tales because it's a book where I recently finished Nutcracker spread, so it will go in the December video about all finished pictures and in Princess and Fairies. I finished one spread. And by the way, my book is by Pavilion because people ask me concerning about quality of the paper. I did this Snow White spread. I experimented a little bit with various brands, but for me polychromoses and color softs work better on this paper and Prismacolor is my less frequent choice. I also was quite surprised to discover that despite the fact that paper isn't thin, even neocolor crayons could bleed through, so they are not a choice for the background, and you have to do background either with soft pastel or with pencils, or probably with acrylic or gouache paints. I also tried water-based ecoline markers, and they behaved really well. I use them for that dark brown frame. My favorite part here is the witch. I really like her grey-green face. When I saw reviews of this book, I was a little bit intimidated by various tiny flowers and other details, but now I am totally in love with Tamoko Tashira style, so I plan to color several other pictures in his books. The next one is totally Christmas book. It's one of the few grayscales book which I own and I agreed to make a review of it because I completely in love with the artist style. I think that artist has wonderful talent. Wendy Edelson is a great illustrator of children's books and she created quite interesting coloring book. Even if it's not very inspiring for me to color grayscale images. Yes, I enjoy select colors, but I don't like that everything, all shading is already put on the paper, so I don't need to think about this, so it's not very challenging. Maybe it's good as a relaxing project, and as I said, I really in love with the artist style, but still, grayscale books are not my first choice. I think that I own only a couple of them in my huge collection. The next book is my recent love, and you probably already know that I love Selina Fennec and I started to add all her books to my coloring collection. So far I finished only three pages here, but I have in my winter plans another two pictures. Here I am quite proud of my color choice and that I put light source uh, directly behind Jack, so he is highlighted from behind. And I also like color combo of rich dark orange together with yellow green color of the plant. My favorite brand of pencils to work on this paper is Prisma Colors. Paper is Quite average, quite thin, but at least tooth of the paper is not bad. So, with burnisher and with prisma colors, it's quite easy to color. Here I started from background, and first I tried to use polychromos. I even tried to draw some ominous eyes, but then I gradually switched from polychromos to prisma colors. I realized that with softer pencils it's easier for me to cover white spots on the paper and to make smoother color transitions and color gradients. I realized that reasons why I love Selena Fennec books so much it's not only because I love how she draws faces and clothes and I also love that she uses a lot of fantasy elements but I love how she composed the whole picture. Composition is really very interesting, it varies from one picture to another. I also love that 
everything is very detailed and you definitely don't need to add anything to the background so everything you need to do is only to select colors to think about light sources and these things i really like to do here from the beginning i knew that i want to do green dress I wasn't afraid that green of the dress will be slightly mixed with the green of the uh, rose bushes around. My main concern was how to show that the source of the light is somewhere behind the window and I think that I managed to do it. Next is Gothic Mini and I am so happy that I purchased it. I really appreciate to be able to do a very interesting but small projects, which I am able to finish in a very quick way. So far I did only one picture here with my beautiful troll lady. I practice here how to do various green tones of the skin. And it's a mix of polychromos and prisma colors. It's said that more than a month ago I purchased another book by Selina Fennig, but neither my first purchase nor the replacement copy hadn't arrived yet and I think that they are completely lost somewhere in the mail. So I am quite disappoint my, disappointed and sad. Let's go to another beautiful book, absolutely amazing artwork by Briar. I can't explain why in the books which I love the most, which I adore the most, which are most inspiring for me, I finished a lesser amount of pictures comparing to other books in my collection. In this amazing book by Briar I only finished this one. I used watercolors for the Vres and Prisma colors for the amazing Christmas or Yule fairy. And I also started another page where I simply covered background with pale blue gouache paint to mask clouds, which I didn't like. And I don't know why I hadn't colored more. I tried to find time to color in this book for Halloween because it has amazing Halloween picture. But still, it's one of my sadly abandoned book. I take it from shelf, I admire artwork and I put it back. I think that in the next year I need to do something with this sad fact that the most beautiful books in my collection are still untouched. The same thing goes for this book by Kenoko Craft. I purchased it long ago, then I waited until I would, able, would be able to purchase Prisma colors because I didn't have any decent uh, skin tone pencil. Then uh, my light peach pencil arrived. I tried to color. I realized that I don't know how to do shading on faces. And for more than three years I hadn't proceeded with that beautiful portrait. So shame on me again. The one and only picture which I finished here I did after I started to purchase individually polychromos pencils. So the whole green background was made with polychromos. I think that on this paper they behave not bad. Paper is of quite average quality, similar to the uh, Creative Haven paper, so nothing special, but it's completely possible to color with any pencil brands. Here I am quite happy with the colors of Angel's dress and with the roses, with Griffon, so not bad and I definitely need to color in this book. I think that in February I need to declare a month of my untouched books. So all books which are neglected, I definitely have to pay them attention. The next amazing book is all about dragons. It's by Raven Phelan and it's published by Blue Angels, so the quality is perfect. Here I used regular and pearlescent watercolors on the background. I really wanted to make everything on the picture connected to sapphires and he is a keeper of, of sapphires. I am quite happy with 
this picture and I love style of Raven Phelan. I even decided which pictures in this book I want to color. I put in bookmarks and still this is one and only my finished picture. In June and July of this year I organized for myself um, months of coloring dragons and I colored a lot of them, but still I wasn't able to find time for this beautiful book. And again, it will be on my to-do list for the next year. Next beautiful book is by Barbara Lanza. Here I am uh, impressed by the artist skills, but totally don't impressed by the paper quality. So far I finished only one picture here. I adore all pictures. I love composition of pictures and how Barbara draw faces but I definitely not in love with the quality of the paper. I colored this one with Prismacolors mostly and I struggled with covering all white spots and with getting nice dark and smooth coverage. I think that for the next project I will try harder pencils, maybe polychromoses or even color softs. I hope that with other brands work will be easier for me. Next book is definitely not about fairy tales or fantasy, but I forgot to show it in my previous videos. And this is one of the few My Creative Heaven books and it's dedicated to paintings by Alfred Munka. I plan to use it more in next year when I plan to color more portraits and especially portraits with alcohol-based markers and this book is perfect for such projects. And now, finally, we have only two books remaining and they are by Tamislav Tomic. I think you all know how much I love both these books, how I love all pictures by Tamislav Tomic. Quite often I even think about purchasing Dutch books also, where I don't need to limit myself to coloring only with regular pencils, so probably I will do it next year. During the previous year I completely neglected this book, but this year, thanks to my wonderful patrons who quite often ask me to do something from Zemla Snova, I managed to finish several quite nice pictures and maybe it's posting, but I am proud of a couple of them. Especially with this one, with this unicorn. It was quite difficult for me to color in such unusual colors, but in the end I was so happy and I am glad that I stepped out of my comfort zone. It was interesting experience. This picture I colored a couple of years ago and I saw so many other versions of this house for the summer and fall periods, but I decided to turn it into the winter one and I am quite proud of this idea. Here I am glad how I managed to do snow on the roof and I love color combo of the dark blue, warm dark red on the tree and grey green color of the leaves. I really love how three colors look together as I have to limit myself to color only with colored pencils here, I always like when the background isn't huge, when I need to color only small areas, so I really appreciated this page. Quite often I selected pictures from this book for some memorable dates for me. I started this one for my birthday. It's in August, so I tried to show that Princess has a stroll in the park during the summer heat. That's why I added something warm orange to the background. And at least I like how this orange combines with 
upper bright green part of the background. Next coloring was quite challenging. I think that I spent two months for coloring for finishing this dragon. I started very eagerly. I did the marble arch, all small flowers. I did golden grass and golden tree. I wanted to use the most unusual colors to color everything um, not realistic. But then, when I started to color dragon, I realized that somehow he is lost through among the grass and among the flowers. I felt a little bit discouraged. Also, I made a mistake here on the tiles on the forefront. Fortunately, later I erased everything with eraser. Then I made a break for almost a month and then I returned to this picture. I did this deep ultramarine sky and I was quite happy with this color choice. And on the last step, when I didn't know which colors to use for the bell flowers, I asked my subscribers, my patrons, and thanks to their advice, I did them pastel yellow with pink. And this complicated picture was completed. When I started to color winged horse, I knew that I want to try deep violet background and that I want to do dark chocolate black horse. But then I wasn't very happy with the color selection for the yellow red flowers and it doesn't help me with the color choice for the wings. Fortunately, I saw a reference picture of beautiful South American butterfly and it really helped me to do such color for the wings. Oh, the next picture is my board of shame. Who is the person who can't decide for three years which background will look better? Pastel blue and vi pastel violet or maybe pastel yellow and pastel green? That's me, so it's still unfinished. I know that it's weird. Anyway, let's go to the picture which I finished several years ago, so it's one of the earliest. I don't know why I was so attached at those bright green colors for dragons, but I used it a lot for dragons. Anyway, here I love how I colored frame. Oh, this proud rooster is this year of work and I am quite happy with everything here. I put a lot of efforts in each and every feather on the rooster. I tried to color him really majestic. On the left side I wanted to practice how to color both dark purple and green grapes. And I spent huge amount of time on coloring basket each and every element of it. But in the end, I think that everything looked quite nice. I even like how I colored those grape leaves here. The only thing where I didn't have any fantasy for is the background. In the end, I was a little bit tired of the whole spread, so I simply did soft pale blue pastel background and added bright orange clouds to show that it's July or August, so time for gathering grape. This princess and knight always was one of my favorite pictures and I started it almost immediately after I got this book. I am still very happy how it looked, probably I only want to cover to mask black lines on the clouds. I really hate when clouds are outlined by black lines. But still I love all any other details here. I don't know if it's possible to see on the video, but there are some lights coming from this uh, small trinket, small box which Princess is, is holding. I'm quite proud how I colored blackened armor on the knight and on the horse, so it's one of my favorite pictures and I remember how much I enjoyed coloring it. 
Probably that's why I am thinking about purchasing the second copy. This spread I also finished this year. I tried to unite both pictures by adding this dark frame, even if subjects are completely different. First, I thought about turning this flying deer into the winter picture, but then I looked at swallows and at apples, and I decided that I want it to be a summer one. Background is made with Prisma colors, and I am quite happy with the color combo which I found for the background. This pale yellow and great um, lavender with a little bit of pink. I think that it's, it looks very romantic. And for the deer I used polychromoses. I really love selection of orange, sanguine, terracotta, red-brown colors from polychromos set. So here I gladly used them and I like color of the deer. On the right page I love fantasy fishes and also my black pearl and rays of light which are coming from it. I am not sure about the color choice for the background, but I think that overall it's quite bright and very festive. On this spread my favorite part is nest and eggs, but I also enjoyed coloring tiny birds. I selected several colors for them. I they are my favorite, all those violet, lavender, lilac colors. I love them so much and here I was quite happy to use them. I also love that the queen bird, she is similar to the tiny ones, but still you can clearly see that she is a queen. Again, background is very simple with soft pastels in order not to distract attention from a very detailed picture. Both pictures here are very early ones and this lady knight on the mouse also was one of my favorites. I love everything about knights and about princesses. So here I am glad with the frame. And I think that color choice also is not bad. On the right page I love how I colored Griffon, but I totally don't understand why I did such a background. It's quite uh, complicated to explain why I selected such a color. But anyway, I still love all my yearly works here. And this Berry Fairy was my first one. After I got this book as a present, I was afraid to start coloring in it for several months. But then, in Facebook group, I decided to participate in Color Along and we got a pair. So, together with other lovely lady colorists, we colored the same picture and I did this berry fairy. Here, my favorite is left side, especially the night sky and green leaves on it. But I also like how I col colored lion and his wing. I also did this picture for my birthday. On the right page I think that I was a little bit carried away and I did too many bright flowers and leaves. I really tried to color each leaf and flower in its own color and it was probably too much and some of the animals are lost. But I still like how I did dress. I love how I added some sparkles around her magical wand, so it really looks magical. And I still like the spread quite much. I think that it's all for the Zemlya Snova, and we are going to my last book and the last picture which I want to show you in this series. And it will be this beautiful spread in Villain Sun. Here I used mix of Prisma colors and polychromoses, and after I colored three green background and all flowers with polychromoses, my hand really hurt it. I had to stop coloring for several days. But anyway, I am quite happy with the final result. 
I love that fairies are not lost on the background, that they are clearly the focal point. I love how I colored the lute. Probably I wasn't very inventive in the color for the birds. I wanted bigger variety of colors for them. But in the end I think that it's not bad. And I am happy that it's the last picture which I want to show you. It's a nice end of this long, long series. I am so grateful to anyone who followed this series, who watched and who left me very kind and supportive comments. I like to watch such videos for myself, to see other people's collections and to see other people's finished works. It always gives myself such a push to my creativity, so it's very helpful for me. And I hope that my video also was inspiring for you. Anyway, thanks again for your patience and I hope that next year I will be able to add something to my book collection and to the collection of the colored pictures. I thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video where I will be talking about my untouched books.